Hello, once again, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm using Chief Architect Software version Premiere X9, and today's tip is about uh, somewhat about layers and just uh, making making my um, layout plans look really snazzy. I lay out the um, framing plans in, in the actual 3D um, objects, uh, my floor framing, ceiling framing, and roof framing, and then I like to put like a dollhouse view um, of that framing uh, on the plans as well, so that it correlates in a 3D view what they're seeing in plan view. Uh, tip number one is I turn each beam to a solid red fill and I make it a red material color. So let's go into plan view. <clears throat> I take each beam. The engineer's called out three nine and a quarters here. I will select uh, all three. Uh, oh yeah, there's a line in there. So I'm going to just go into joist mode, select all three. And you'll see I've got a solid red fill in the fill style. And the material I've changed to color red so that when I go to plan view that red fill in um, plan view matches with the red color in 3d view now to go to 3d view I've set up a couple of extra layer sets here and then I take my um, my perspective floor overview and I just simply switch to floor framing set camera view floor framing so I can go from the basement uh, and get first floor framing send that to layout second floor framing send that to layout second floor ceiling framing send that to layout and now I just switch to roof framing now I want to send this to layout, but I'm not quite ready because I want to see this framing, this roof framing down here. The quick way of doing that is I'm going to go back to plan view and switch to uh, roof annotations. And F6 on my keyboard zooms out to the full extent of what's visible at the moment. I'm going to delete my temporary points. And I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard for roofs and select all of these four roof objects. And then simply open that and go to line style in the roof plane specification dialog box. From here, I'm going to define, instead of a default roof plane, I'm going to define this line style, uh, these roofs objects, their layer. I'm going to define that and copy roof planes. So it creates roof planes too. Now from here, I'm going to leave that on. And it cop when you copy that layer, it copies all of the object prop the layer properties that were on the original layer. So whether it's on, displayed on, on a roof on a layer set, or has materials or color or line weight or line style, all that stuff. All that information is copied. The only place I want it to change is in this perspective floor overview. And while I'm in the roof camera view roof framing uh, layer set, I'm going to change the uh, layer display options for that one, that layer set alone. I'm going to hit type ROOF to quickly jump and turn off roof planes too. And now I see the framing for that area. Uh, if you want to go further, I could um, just delete the surfaces of the uh, ridge cap and hip cap here. And you've got a set, a picture ready to go. Send this over. I'm going to make it a live view. That's fine. 
I have page nine. And there's my there's my um, 3D view that corresponds with the plan view as well. All right. Uh, just a quick tip on controlling layers in layer layer sets, um, so that you can see the what the um, in 3D you can and, and 2D you can see what you want to see. I'll show you quickly uh, that my roof plan did not change because that remember when I copied that layer it kept all the same layers uh, layer information so that roof plan 2 is still visible in this plan and that's what I wanted to see. All right uh, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. If you like these uh, videos, please uh, share, a, share the video. Um, give me a thumbs up. It tells me you've been watching it and you appreciate this. If you've got any suggestions for what you'd like to see to make your um, modeling or plans look a uh, little better, a little easier, let me know that in the comments. Uh, subscribe always to, um, to, to see these each week come across your desk. Uh, Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, thanks so much for watching.